pure social justice where you might want to reconsider because the ideology is built upon the premise, the fallacy, or the notion that any disparity among a group of people or races is automatically due to either discrimination or racism, then in reality, it's often due to many other type of factors. And I'll give you reason number two why that disparity may exist, which is geography, which includes things such as waterways, mountains, or weather. And any of those can either be an advantage or a disadvantage, depending upon where you live. For example, weather. People in the Caribbean, they often can grow fruits for a cost that is much cheaper compared to people who live in places that are much colder. Which is why often people or businesses from the United States buy fruit from the Caribbean instead of producing their own, unless they get subsidized by the government. Then you have waterways, where certain places like in Africa and Eastern Europe, like Russia, where they have a disadvantage compared to Western Europe. In Africa, for example, there's not as many places that they can safely navigate through because of either drop or lack of safety for the harbors. Or Eastern Europe, where often the water freezes for majority of the time and they only have a short amount of time where they can actually use those routes. Then mountains are also disadvantaged because you have to travel around and you can also be isolated from other societies. But now since we have the internet, it doesn't matter as much, but it still plays an effect because of the mountains.